This piece is one of my favorites. We call it the T7i. It has a forward firing eight inch driver and a down firing 10 inch. And the whole thing is driven by a very, very high current 200 watt Class AB amplifier. It's designed for medium sized rooms and smaller. It will pair beautifully with modest sized floor standers or stand mounted speakers. This is a fantastic piece. With T7i, this is the first where we go with a forward firing active driver and a down firing 10. The forward firing driver is extremely light. We w actually went to the extent of removing the carbon black from the driver material because we found that it added about seven grams of extra mass that we didn't need in there. So when you see this beautiful white color set off by the aluminum, while it looks very pretty, it was really done to save mass. Saving mass means it's quicker, it's more fluid, it's more musical, and that's extremely important to us. What the downfiring passive gives us, however, is room drive. It effortlessly drives throughout the room because the uh, passive actually flows down across the floorboards. It's a beautiful concept. It gives you the fast pistonic base of a forward firing driver and the hugeness of energizing the floor. T7i uses a 200 watt high current Class AB amplifier. Huge amounts of current reserve so it never sounds like it's running out of breath. In addition, we use the fastest filters in the business and we connect up whenever possible through this high level input. The high level input isn't a connector, it's a philosophy. When you come in through our high level input, it allows you to hear the entirety of the system, including the signature of your power amplifier, right through. So when you hear a T7i based system, it just sounds like one enormously expensive system. The fit and finish is incredible. You'll see polished stainless steel bolts holding it all together. You're not gonna have worry about this thing rusting out 10 years down the road. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to 60,000 of these pieces have been built over the last decade. They're brilliant, they're reliable, they sound fantastic. And the overall performance starts and stops with the amplifiers. The cabinetry on RHEL's T7i is with all T's, is a full one inch thick, massively braced. These are musical instrument type bracings that break up the common mode resonances in the chassis beautifully. The final bit of resonance tuning in this actually is the aluminum badge on top. It takes that last little bit of cabinet boom out. As with everything that you see on any RHEL, if it looks like aluminum, it is aluminum. So with the T7i, we've got one of the most balanced pieces in our lineup. It's a 200 watt Class AB amplifier with huge amounts of current reserve. You've got a very fast pistonic 8 inch driver forward firing that gives you the quick impulses and a large 10 inch down firing passive that just fills the room with deep bass. This is a great piece. Five coats of lacquer, beautiful aluminum bits, and we even have a lovely wireless piece called the Arrow that bolts up physically to the rear of the piece, gives you the ability to freely place this anywhere you want with no loss compared to cable. Upgrade your home entertainment with the Polk Cigna S2 soundbar system. With all cables included, setup takes minutes. Just enough time to mix things up for movie night. Cigna S2 works with 4K and HD TVs, ensuring the best picture quality. Connect it to your TV with HDMI ARC to output amazing sound and control the soundbar with your TV's remote. Cigna S2 includes a compact wireless subwoofer for deep bass and more room-filling sound. Hear every word perfectly with newly designed tweeters and Polk patented voice adjust technology. Dolby Digital Decoding elevates your home theater with incredible surround sound. Whether you want to cozy up with a movie or stream music via Bluetooth, let Cigna S2 drive the experience in your home. Cinemas create adrenaline pumping excitement using surround speakers placed all around the movie theater. The most common home theater is a 2.1 channel soundbar, consisting of a soundbar and subwoofer. Its sound quality is superior to the TV, with sound radiating directly at the listening area. However, 360 degree surround effects are simulated and minimal, resulting in a good, but not ideal, true cinema experience. Most 2.1 channel soundbars rely on sound reflection to mimic 360 degree surround effects. However, not all rooms are enclosed for ideal sound reflection, causing sound virtualization to be unbalanced. An advanced true soundbar system includes a separate left, right and center channel in the soundbar, a wireless subwoofer and two physical surround speakers. 360 degree surround details are dispersed all around you. Enjoy immersive surround sound with crystal clear dialogue in any room. 
exactly the way it was meant to be heard in theatres. So you can lose yourself completely in your favourite entertainment, all in the comfort of your own home. True surround soundbars are also able to upmix any video and music content into 360 degree surround, creating an expansive yet realistic soundstage that elevates any content. This T0 is an amazing piece. It's finished beautifully in the same exact factories that we use for many of our more expensive pieces. Five coats of hand rubbed lacquer. It, it really is the business. Anything you see on one of our pieces that looks like billet aluminium is. This piece is an amazing accomplishment for a very, very low price. Six and a half inch driver, 100 watt amplifier, it's a smoker. The driver itself is a six and a half inch pure aluminum driver, which means it's extremely lightweight. It really gets the dynamics. Most subwoofers tend to be a little bit heavy, a little sloggy. What you're gonna find with this piece is it's quick enough to keep up with virtually anything out there. And yet with 100 watts, it's got real power behind it. So with T0, even though this is an entry-level product by price, it's not entry-level by design, by fit, by finish. This is a real 100-watt high-current Class D amplifier. The reason we use Class D in these pieces is to keep the amount of space taken up to an absolute minimum. Less space means more bass for you. Even though we're not charging an arm and a leg for this, these are real polished stainless 304 bolts. These will never rust out on you. And the most important feature on this entire piece resides right here. This is our uh, legendary high-level input. This is the first time in the range that you get this. The important thing to realize about RHEL high-level is it's not like anyone else's. These allow perfect seamless blending of subwoofer with main speaker. No one does it the way we do. Nobody can sound like a RHEL. T0 is not an entry-level piece. This is truly an entry-level luxury piece. When you look at a T0, you're looking at five coats of hand rubbed lacquer, real cast aluminum. It's a fantastic piece with a six and a half inch, very quick aluminum driver and a true 100 watt high current amplifier. At the end of the day, we originally designed this thing hoping it would be a lovely piece to match up with computer audio or multimedia. We got so much more than we expected. This is a great piece, fully capable of keeping up with entry level high end speakers or modest sized rooms. Everybody who owns a T0 loves this. We were so fortunate to have Sony Electronics reach out to us to collaborate and listen to their sound bars and listening to how we can recreate that sound in the home environment. As a technologist and working with technology companies like Sony Electronics, What's really important is that the technology is used by artists to create story. We noticed that Dolby have the same vision, and our mutual goal is to bring that experience into a small SM soundbar. To the credit of Sony Electronics and their soundbars, that you can get this really great sweet spot that's immersive both around you and above you. The new Atmos format it makes you have a 360 degree sound experience that we've never been able to have before in any cinematic environment. To bring the Dolby Atmos experience to more wider range of people, we Sony have been developing a new technology how we can make that happen. The vertical surround engine is new unique signal processing technology that can bring surround sound safe even from uh, front facing speakers. But what's really critical and important to consumers is that emotional reaction they get to that Atmos soundtrack when they listen to it at home. My reactions, I'm just amazed. It matched how we would mix a film and placed it in a home environment. It was quite honestly the best experience I've ever heard from three front drive amp speakers. And it's only going to get better as things like the Sony soundbars are released and create that experience because at the end of the day, it's not about technology. It's about moving consumers. Placement. When placing your subwoofer, you will want it positioned near your front speakers facing the listener. For the best acoustics, we recommend it be placed between the center and a front speaker or in a corner directed towards the listener. Connecting your subwoofer to your receiver. On the back of the subwoofer, you'll find an LFE low-level input connection. Connect one end of your subwoofer cable to this input. The opposite end of the cable will need to be connected to your home theater receiver. 
Most modern receivers will include a sub-out connection for a subwoofer. For information specific to your receiver, please refer to your receiver user manual. If your receiver does not have a subwoofer out connection, you'll need to use the high-level in connections which will require speaker wire between the subwoofer and receiver. Operation. Connect the subwoofer power adapter to a wall outlet. Using the power switch, select either on or auto. The auto setting turns the subwoofer on when the frequency signal reaches the required voltage. The crossover frequency knob sets the frequency at which your subwoofer will start producing sound. You'll want to set this close to the bottom end of your main speaker's frequency range. The frequencies should overlap as little as possible. This should be set while sitting in a normal listening position while playing music with a consistent bass line such as jazz or country music and should be set low enough that male voices don't play through the subwoofer. If your speakers and subwoofer are out of phase, it means that the speaker in the subwoofer is moving in the opposite direction of the other speakers during playback. This causes frequencies to be cancelled out, which can result in a poor listening experience. By adjusting the phase setting, you can ensure your subwoofer driver is in phase with your other speakers, which will result in a more pleasant listening experience. To set this, simply test each setting and use whichever option sounds best. All that's left to adjust is the volume, and your Fluence DB10 subwoofer is now ready to perform. This one feel good.